Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Leia. Happy birthday to you. Blow the candle. Blow it, blow it. <laughs> Get a real job. Okay. Define what a real job is. McDonald's, um, um, Home Depot, um, maybe another restaurant. I don't know. Like, what's a real? Define to me what a real job is. Anything bringing in money or any type of income is a fucking job or whatever the fuck you want to call it, right? I got many other things going on. I got a podcast coming soon. I got two other YouTube channels. I shoot videos, documentaries, like we got other shit going on. So get a real job. No, you, you guys, get welcome to uh, today's video. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure you hit that share button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications to all notifications, y'all. Enjoy today's video. Y'all know how the way I started. I started off at the night, ended in the day, or my started during the day, ended at night. I don't know. My videos are weird. Shit happens. Things happen. Be action out here, y'all. Content is content, man. Got to get what I got to get and uh, give you the best quality stuff that y'all could possibly be watching right now. I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers out here that's uh, been rocking with your boy. I really truly appreciate it. I really truly, I really truly appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys very much. Uh, to all the OG subs, y'all know who y'all are. Thank you guys as well too. And um, enjoy today's video. Y'all know what I be doing at night. So yeah, late night trapping, late night grinding, late night hustling, whatever y'all want to call it. Y'all know what I'm up to. So uh, yeah, y'all make sure y'all follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Darrell underscore West LB five six two. I really would appreciate it. Uh, hit the link to become a member of the channel Shit, like I said If y'all niggas can spend $9.99 to $12.99 For fucking Netflix and fucking pornography Fuck, y'all can pay $3.99 a month too as well for, To support a, to support a, uh, to support a brother like me and shit Really would appreciate it now, I'm gonna address something from uh, Yesterday's video Because this will be Friday's video <clears throat> First and foremost My lady can say whatever the hell she wants to say While I'm on camera And if y'all don't like it Fuck off. If anything, it's the goddamn truth. That's all you see. That's pretty much all you see out here that's fucking finessing shit like that and taking advantage of shit like that. I'm going to keep it all the way funky and I'm going to keep it all the way real. That's all you see out here. So yeah, I just want to make that clear. Some fucking trick ass, some fucking trick ass female in the comment section had the right to audacity to say some smart ass, smart ass stuff like that. I swear to God, y'all fucking bitches with fucking fake ass titties and asses and fucking Botox or whatever the hell that shit is, man. Y'all need to get the y'all need to get the hell on with y'all damn selves and uh and uh and uh and fucking freaking screw off for real, for real. Cause uh that shit right there, that shit was really freaking unnecessary. So it is what it is though. But YouTube is YouTube. Comments are going to be comments, but I'm not afraid to address comments. I'm not afraid to clap back or respond back. So anyway. I'm up in here at uh, Walgreens right here, and uh, God damn, <laughs> I gotta go pick up something real quick, y'all, I gotta go deliver it and drop it off, so i see you guys right now in a little bit. Truly for the win, that's what y'all highness like drinking, y I noticed y'all highness, y'all like drinking them, uh, y'all like drinking them, choo them Trulies, fuck yeah, y'all. Let me tell y'all something to all the fellas out there. If you see a female just smacking them trulies down, that pussy about to be fired in a motherfucker for the night. <laughs> but not nah, though, y'all. Trulies for the win, man. Trulies for the win. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. Anyway, stay tuned. Haters can't see me. Damn sure can't beat me. Even though these hating ass niggas want to beat me and shit. So yeah, west side up, motherfuckers. Stay hey, tuned. damn car. She done hit my car. I got this on video for the insurance company. Done hit my damn car.
Oh, we're going to look at this, y'all. This is the definition of the truth hurts. This is the definition of the truth hurts. What I was talking about. Look at these comments right here. I done pissed off somebody. I done pissed off somebody. I don't play. Got fucking females with fake ass body parts and shit. Always mad and shit. Always mad and shit. Freaking females with fake ass body parts and shit. Get out of here. Straight up, her yeah. Ass is fake. yeah, that ass fake. Yo, look at this real quick. Look at this real quick. Look at this fake ass right here. Look at her legs and then get her ass. Yeah, exactly. You look at tell. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Hell out of here. Her. Hell out of here. You think you something. You think you look good with that fake ass. Get the hell out of here. I swear, when are y'all women gonna stop hating on other women because you ain't got a man? There y'all go. Ha <laughs> ha. There y'all go. Another video clip to post. I mean, I might put that in the video. Fuck it. But anyway, you know what? <sighs> damn girl, damn baby. Good job pissing off, pissing off the people with the truth. Good job. Good job. I'm being serious. Good job. Nah, fuck that. That bitch, that bitch better go somewhere. Let me, let me, let me, let me show y'all something real quick, y'all. This is all natural. Yeah, this natural. is nothing fake. It's a reason why I got two kids. And maybe another one coming in the near future. Come on. But you're not going to get the order? Yeah, I am. We're forever. Oh shit! Let me go get the order, y'all. <laughs> we got New Amsterdam for the win, and it's the same person I delivered to almost every single time he order a bottle. I'm always the driver to get the, to get these ones around here. Oh yeah, and we got a V6 charger for the win right here too. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, New Amsterdam for the win, man. Hell yeah! I think we should drink this shit when we was younger, huh? Yeah. You, yeah, you remember? Yeah. Oh, she said something else? No, this is a guy. J8. Oh, he got enough feelings, too. Oh, all right. Well, oh, well. It is what it is. All I just said, they shouldn't be riding around in no fucking 2021 something if they using those kind of benefits and if they really struggling. Let's just keep it real. Yeah, yeah man. Whatever. Anyway, on to the next, y'all. I'm out of here. All right. Let's respond to the previous video. Okay, if y'all pay attention in the video, all I said is how in the hell is anybody going to be riding around in a 2020 something Kia tell you ride and on government freaking assistance aka cash aid food stamps hell the bitch probably was collecting a child support check hell probably another way nah, that too come on and right around in a 2020 something that's all I said my lady has the right to say whatever the hell she feels and like I said y'all I don't bleep nothing out I let it be I don't do none of that extra shit or anything like that. That's all I said. I'm not knocking nobody that's on that shit. To the what the hell? All I said is that people like that, that's the ones that's fucking it up for everybody, abusing a damn system. And I'm all for it. Hey, give it to the people that need it. Give it to the people that, that need help, that need some kind of assistance like that. I'm all for it. I ain't got nothing against it. My taxes pays for all that shit anyway. So what's the difference? Golly, y'all attacking me in the comment section like we're the worst human beings out here. But hold on, Let, let's just let's just uh hold on. But what about what about when these other content creators out here say what they say about government assistance, government aid, uh, food assistance, and stuff like that? 
Why are y'all not attacking them for it when they say what the hell they say? Let's be 100 right now. Why are y'all not attacking them for it? But y'all want to come and attack me and want to attack my lady and everything. What kind of what kind of shit is that? Let's be real right now. Come on, y'all. Come on, man. When y'all watch my videos, man, listen to what's coming out of my mouth. Listen to what's coming out of my mouth. Don't assume. Don't assume whatever it may be. Let's be real. Come on. If you watch my videos, pay close attention to what I be saying. I didn't knock nobody for fucking being on there. I know how that shit is. And I know how, the, how that shit feels. I come from that. So I know what's up already. I didn't knock nobody for... I didn't knock the individuals that's actually on there and actually using it for... And actually using it for good reasons and, and a good purpose. I didn't knock nobody for that. I'm knocking these ones that's riding around in 2020, whatever the hell it may be, in... And abusing the goddamn system out here. That's all I said. But if I'm the bad guy, I'm the bad guy. I don't give a goddamn, man. Y'all been rocking with me for the longest. Y'all know already. I say what I want. And I say what I feel. And I keep it real. And I don't And I don't bite my tongue. Y'all been rocking with me for the longest. Y'all know I say what the hell I want to say. And damn sure this lady says what the hell I, she wants to say. Off camera, she got a bad mouth. I ain't finna go there. So... Like I said, I'm not knocking on none of my supporters or whatever. It's okay to disagree. Cool. Cool. It's okay to disagree. But make sure y'all listen to what comes out of my mouth before y'all start going to assumptions and before y'all start getting in y'all feelings about stuff. That's all I'm saying right now. Hope that sums up everything. Because I don't feel like going live. I don't even feel like doing a damn live stream. Really wasting my time if I was to do a live stream. So I might as well address it in this video and make it be known. I didn't knock the people that's actually using it for a good, legit reason. I'm not knocking them. I'm knocking the ones that's abusing this shit out here. Come on. Come on, y'all. Get it together, man. Listen to what I'm saying in all my videos. Hear me closely. Hear me closely. Once again, it's, it's cool to disagree. I'm not tripping. 7-Eleven. <clears throat> yeah, okay, I'll do that. Where's that? Your at oh, that's right there. Carson Street. That's over there, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, hell yeah. What'd they get? What'd they get? Uh, oh no. Ice cream. No alcohol. <laughs> no ice cream. Anyway, besides that, hopefully that sums up everything. Hopefully that clears up all the misconfusion that's going on, that's going on right now. That's all I got to say. Hopefully that clears up all the misconfusion. I didn't... I'm not knocking people that's using it for legitimate reasons and shit and that's trying to survive and get by. I'm not... I'm, I'm on that ass for these ones that's abusing it but riding around here in expensive-ass vehicles and shit. That's the ones I'm, I'm, I'm on that ass for. And nobody can't knock me for all the cards I get and everything. I, once again... Once again, I get my money how the way I get my money out here. And I buy my own goddamn shit. I'm not using government assistance to buy cars, clothes, shoes, or anything like that. I get my money how the way I get my money. And that's just it. And that's just final. And I'm going to make that be well known already. It's clear, y'all. There's no favoritism on my channel. I treat everybody fairly, respectfully. And y'all know how the way I get down. But I'm going to keep it 100 right now. This is like the only individual that listened to what came out of our mouths. Hispanic cause and panic. He is the only individual that was paying attention to what was coming out of my mouth. The rest of you guys, no offense, I'm going to keep it 100. Y'all took it the wrong way. And I'm just going to say it like that. Y'all took it the wrong way. Look at that, y'all. Damn hot chicken. Hot chicken. James hot chicken for the win. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm. All right, what up with all y'all? Anyway, we're back here in the morning. Up here at CVS. Yes, sir. I'm at CVS, you guys. Um, I was supposed to be picking up something. I, I told y'all I start early on. Uh, I start early on uh, Fridays. That way, I ain't gotta waste my Friday night being out and everything. I could just be at home, just uh, you know what I'm saying, 
shit kicking back smacking down a couple beers and shit you feel me but yeah i started early on i started early on fridays but uh yeah man yeah uber is tripping i got a question to the people that do that be ordering uh like from grocery stores and shit like that i got a question i know i got a bunch of y'all on my damn channel that be ordering and getting y'all stuff delivered does it tell you guys in the app if it's out of stock because right now i just had an issue right now where the item i was supposed to pick up and pay for was not in stock and i had to cancel it uber compensated me for uh for both trips even this same situation happened a couple days ago they compensated me and everything now now they're paying up now but um yeah does it tell you guys in the app if you're going to order from like a cvs or a walgreens or albertson's or any kind of store like that does it tell y'all if it's out of stock or if it's in stock because uh yeah i don't mind doing it they do pay up if you call at a certain time sometimes they don't want to uh Sometimes, so, sometimes they don't want to answer later at night, but they are right, anyway. My freaking GoPro just died. I had to swap the battery out. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section, you guys, if uh, when y'all order through these apps or whatever from like grocery stores or pharmacies and everything, does it tell you guys if the items are in stock or not? Because yeah, that's kind of messed up. That kind of basically wastes our time and everything. Yeah, Uber will pay us for it. You know, now that I'm bumped up, they rates what they pay for. If it's a dry move or or you leave empty handed from the store or whatever, it's not that bad now. Actually, pretty they kind of pay up now, but um, <clears throat> but uh, <clears throat> but uh, yeah. Let me know in the comment section. Yeah, so yeah, I'm out here in the morning. I'm out here early today. So uh, yeah, I love this shit. I I could go back home. Like right now, I haven't even took a shower or nothing, so I could just go back home right now. I could just go back home right now. Go take me a nice little shower and shit. Wait till something else to pop up and shit. So yeah. So I'm about to go do. I'm about to go home and uh go take me a hot shower. Get suited and booted for today. Uh I see you guys right now in a little bit. Man. She dirty. She dirty, 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 y'all. But hey, I get to practice this shit watch this weekend. She dirty. Will still. Knock on wood, y'all. Knock on wood. This wheel still going good. I gotta change the brakes on this fucking car. I hear the brakes screeching and goddamn hollering, man. I gotta change the brakes on there. But, uh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, this is the one. Oh, yeah. Gotta change the brakes. Still going good, y'all. Car's still running good. I had to get my walk on for the haters. <laughs> anyway, no, y'all, I'm just fucking around. I had to get my walk on for the haters. You know what I'm saying? That's not the way I handle the haters and how I handle the haters and the oppositions. <laughs> I had to get my walk on and shit. I had to show them how I get down. You feel me? I had to do the LB, I had to do it the Long Beach way. <laughs> anyway, not all y'all. I don't know what else to really say. Shit, I'm being real with all y'all, man. It's just. See how the way the day goes, y'all, man. Yeah. I'm up early. Actually, I went to sleep early tonight. Usually, I'm up to like about, give or take, maybe three, four in the morning. Man, I'm being honest with all y'all. I usually go to sleep late. Last night, I went to bed early. I was like, fuck, I got to get this video done. Um, yeah, I haven't seen, yeah. Yeah, pretty much, yeah, pretty much see the car in every video, so, yeah. But anyway, um, the title of this video, the title of this video, let me tell y'all what happened. All right, I was at the gas station yesterday. I had, to, uh, I had to pull a little favor for the homie and shit. I ain't gonna say what it is or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just looking out for the homie and shit. Um, you know what I'm saying? In exchange, I got a couple. He shot me a couple beers, which very appreciative and very thankful for. Um, ran into another, ran into another opposition, y'all. Um, I don't I don't talk about street shit or street politics on this channel because one I don't want nothing falling back on me two that is a fucking no no you know how you tell your kids that's a no no that's a no 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 bueno la pincha boca you know what I'm saying 
yeah pretty much that's why i don't discuss none of that that's why i just shut the fuck up i do the car stuff um i do what i do as far as like regular videos and short video clips and um <laughs> and um stuff like that that's why i don't get involved in nothing why y'all think uh i got drama coming my way like i say you guys drama just comes my way which it comes with the territory as far as on this youtube shit you know what I'm saying? Y'all know who them individuals are. Fuck those motherfuckers. They know what it is. Um, but uh, my personal life. I don't bring up a lot of shit for my personal life because it's not content worthy. I still don't get along with these individuals, with, with a lot of people out here to this day. You know what I'm saying? But yesterday was one of those situations where I told my lady, like, dude, you should have came out and got me. And however the way it would have got handled is however the way it would have got handled. All right. After I came out the restaurant from the gas station, my lady went inside to go buy some snacks and stuff for herself and my baby daughter. I didn't even see this individual in there. That's why I was tripping the fuck out. And I'm always on my ten toes. I'm always watching my uh, I'm always watching my surroundings. Everywhere I go, I'm always watching my surroundings. It's no ifs, ands, and buts. I'm always watching my surroundings. And um, and um. She told me, oh, some dude in there tried to get at me. And he tried to tell me, um, tried to give her a compliment and shit. And I'm like, okay, what? You should have came and got, uh, what? I was like, you know, my little attitude or whatever, okay? And then she, and then I guess this nigga questioned her, who's your, who's your dude? She told her who the fuck I was and everything. And um, that's when I described her. Was it a curly headed motherfucker that just done? Was it a curly headed mixed, mixed breed, mixed breed brat ass motherfucker that done walked out of there with jeans tighter than, tighter than the shit you wear? She was like, "Yep." I'm like, "Oh, nothing new." I, and that's when she told me, "Oh, I don't." He, that's when that's when she told me that this fucking punk ass clown said, "Oh, uh, I don't get along." Oh, I don't get along with that motherfucker. I don't like that nigga for shit or whatever. And that's when I told her, I'm like, you should have came and got me. You should have came and got me when all this happened. Because I told my lady straight up, I didn't think nothing was going. I didn't. I didn't think anything was going on. I just saw the nigga walk out, and I'm like, oh yeah, I know that motherfucker from back in the day. And all that, and all he did was just basically look at the car, like he he double take at the car like twice, like either he's seen his car before or his car looked familiar. And I'm like, okay, motherfucker, you try something. I'm like to my son, I'm like, you try something. I got something for that ass. <laughs> for real, I was like, I got something for that ass, you feel me? And nigga just walked off and nigga walked off hella fucking fast and ran off to his fucking truck or whatever. I'm like, the hell's going on up in there? And that's when my lady broke down and everything what happened, y'all. So yeah, just to let you guys know, I don't get along with a lot of people out here. I'm most hated. Like, I'm not saying this shit for clout, views, or anything like that. I am most hated out here. I don't, it is what it is. It's been like this since <sighs> since I was a teenager. As far as uh, who 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 y'all know, I roll with or whatever. Y'all know what it is already. I'm not even finna uh, brag about it. It's just what it is. But besides the internet shit that I deal with, personal life wise, I'm the biggest opposition out here. And it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And I was I was waiting for something to go down yesterday. I don't know why. I was just waiting and. Like I told my lady, when something is going on, I ain't even told this lady, take your phone with you, you call me or come get me. I told her I could have went inside and that would have been handled. That would have been handled. I'm not even gonna get into details how it would have been handled, but that would have been handled. So yeah, y'all, that was a real situation yesterday. Shit was crazy. So just let you guys know something, man. I I'm most hated out here in real life. I'm most hated out here. Not just by the internet shit or the shit that go on the internet. I'm, I don't care about that. I'm talking about my real in my personal life. I'm most hated out here, and I'm always prepared at all times for whenever danger may approach my way. I'm ready. I'm locked and loaded and ready. So yeah, I had to just share that one with y'all. That's why if y'all see the title of this video, y'all probably wondering like, the hell you talking about now? <laughs> but yeah, um, I really don't got nothing else really to talk about. This may be a short video. This may may not be a short video. I'm not ending it right now. So uh, just enjoy the rest of it, y'all. Like I said, today's really a slow day today. It's been pretty a slow week all week. But I got to continue to keep dropping videos. I can't just stop and just be comfortable 
And you know what I'm saying? That's not how YouTube works. Regardless of it, you gotta keep uploading something. <laughs> so yeah, see you guys right now. All right, y'all, where we at right now, what I'm about to show you guys, I haven't been to this park in a long time. This is also over here on the west side of Long Beach too. It's called, uh, it's called uh, Tanaka Park. Uh, I used to come to this park back in the day too. We'll play football up here. We'll play basketball up here. And I used to work. I used to work out up here at this park too. Hell yeah, you could, you'll get a good workout at this park. Real talk though. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's called Tanaka Park. Uh, is this park a little bit sketchy? Can be from time to time, but uh, other than that, this is pretty much a. It's pretty much a low key park. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You can't see it from the street, really. You really won't even recognize it, but yeah, I remember when they first built this park right here. Before this park was right here, uh, it was like basically deserted. All dirt right here. It wasn't really nothing right here before. So just a little heads up. Yeah, there we go. Hold on real quick. Let me go back and post up where I was at. It was, it was pretty busy out here, y'all. Yeah. So I used to play basketball and shit right here. Hell yeah, let's go through here. I'm telling you. I'm showing you guys shit that most YouTubers is afraid to come over here and shit and actually show you guys and shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I used to yeah, yeah, I used to play basketball right here, play football up here. All that shit right here. Hell yeah. Squabbles too. Oh fuck it. Yeah, I was in the park right there to catch those squabbles. Because uh, a lot nine times out of ten, the people were at the bike size right here won't give a fuck. And uh police were rarely ever come through there and shit, so yeah, that was the park right there to catch the squabbles, play football, play basketball, all that shit. So, yeah, just had to just show you guys that real quick. Yes, sir. But yeah, y'all, I'm out and about right now. It's already 11 o'clock anyway. I really didn't even have time to go home to go take a shower or whatever. I was like, fuck it, I'll just do that shit later. Fuck it. It is what it is. Anybody want to judge me because of that? Hey, we all, hey, ain't nobody perfect out here. So, anyway, let's keep it moving and let's keep it grooving. Mmm. Chinese food for the wing. Mm mm mm. Hell yeah. Some Chinese food spot over here in Signal Hill. Over here in Signal Hill. I'm off of 15th and uh. I'm over here off of 15th and uh, or Zaba. Yeah, I'm over here in Signal Hill, borderline east side and shit. Uh, some Chinese food restaurant that I just happened to see. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna give it a try. And if I like it, I'll bring my lady back and we'll come get some Chinese food maybe today or tomorrow. Now that's how you eat some food right there, y'all. Mm mm mm. Mm. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Mm. Hell yeah. I'm up here at some park right here. I'm gonna see if they got a water fountain or something so I can wash my hands. I'm not gonna need to wash my hands. Hopefully they got a water fountain or some restrooms over here. I don't know. It's pretty good. I'll give it a seven. I'll give it a seven. It's pretty good. I give, it, I give it a seven. Pretty good. I don't even know the name of the damn restaurant. I just happened to see it. I was like, oh, Chinese food. 
Mmm. Hell yeah. Mmm. Pretty good, y'all. Let me fuck this up real quick. Now I get back with y'all. What a mission. What a mission. Uh, I just I just dumped off some uh just dumped off some alcohol right now to a to a guy. Uh Middle Eastern guy. And um These apartments are pretty nice. They got ACs, air conditioners, and all the units right here. As y'all see. ACs and all the units right here. The Bay Hill apartments. Just for a two-bedroom right here. And I was talking to the guy I dropped alcohol with. And I asked him, hey, how much is right here? These are pretty nice apartments. I've never seen nothing like this before. <clears throat> and um, he told me, just for a two-bedroom here, at this apartment complex right here, two-bedroom, 3500 a month. Let me say that again. Let that sink in real quick. 3500 a month just for a two-bedroom apartment. Now, you gotta be on your hustle out here, huh? That's all I gotta say. And uh, yeah, you know, as y'all know, uh, <clears throat> not to make it a race thing or whatever, but uh, Middle Eastern people, they're born filthy, rich. A lot of times, that a lot of times with the Middle Eastern folks, uh, is generational, is generational wealth. It's a Porsche, Porsche convertible. Uh, it's general generational wealth. So, yeah, man, it, that's, that's it's pretty crazy, man. But uh, man, I'm trying to get to that point to where you know I can afford thirty five hundred dollars a month for a nice ass apartment and shit. Me personally, I'm really not worried about a house. Just not at the moment. Mentally, I would like to buy a house, but mentally, it's not there. Eventually, I'll get to that point to where I might start looking into something like that. But until then, um. Until then, I'm focused on getting my ass in an apartment. Shit, it's better than nothing. But 3,500 bucks in that apartment, those apartments were nice. It was a mission for me to get up in there and to go drop off, some, <laughs> drop off, drop off what I needed to drop off right now. But uh, those apartments were nice. Even a brother, even a brother that lived there and everything was cool as hell. <laughs> he helped me uh, get back to the elevator and shit so I can get up out of there. Fuck, I got lost up in that apartment complex, but it was, it was freaking nice. I would like to live. I like to live in something like that, man. For real, for real. Look at all this. This is Signal Hill. This is all Signal Hill. Lone Beach. Lone Beach. Signal Hill, Lone Beach. Yep. Yes, sir. Oh, fun fact. I did my DMV. Uh, I did my DMV exam around here. If y'all know where I'm at, this is where they take you to to do your DMV exam. Just a little heads up. The Long Beach DMV is like literally right around the corner off of Willow and shit. I did my DMV exam right around here. And uh, <clears throat> it took me like two tries to pass my to pass my DMV exam. The first time I didn't pass, I don't even know why. The second time, the second time I ended up passing that shit just like nothing. Yeah, that shit was crazy. That shit was, cra that shit was crazy. So yeah, y'all, I, uh, I did my DMV exam around this area right here. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, y'all. I'm just, I'm just trying to get it, man. Trying to get it. Yeah. My hair grew, y'all. The boys growing a little. The boys growing a little mini uh afro. Yeah, I'm growing my hair out, y'all. For the meanwhile, I'm not doing no taper. I'm not doing nothing like that. I'm just gonna let my hair just grow and see what happens. Hell, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't had a big afro in a cool minute. Most of the time, I probably let it grow for like maybe two or three months, and then I'll just shave it all off. But. I'm gonna see how the, I want to see how the way I look again after six months of just letting this shit just grow in. Yeah, your boy over here looking like uh, yeah, looking like Ice Cube from the freaking nineties. Well, yeah, y'all, this is all Long Beach Signal Hill right here. That's a good dealership right there to go to. Uh, West Coast Toyota. I signed for a car right here for one of my relatives a couple years back. Uh, yeah, I don't even want to talk about that situation, y'all. Be careful when you sign cars for people. That's all I gotta say. Especially family members. That is just... <coughs> I can't even say family members is the worst. Just be careful who y'all help out out here. That's all I gotta say. 
But yeah, they always got a good selection of cars up there, and they got good deals there. Trust me, they got good deals there. They got some nice, they got some nice wheels up there. Hell yeah. Whew. See you guys right now in a little bit.